What's going on, guys? Jurassic Guys here. Today we're playing The Darkest Tales. This is a free to play game on Steam. Once upon a time, in a little room immersed in the stillness of the night, a little light was flickering, seemingly unable to rest. For many years, she had protected her mistress's sleep through the darkest nights. But now, something was troubling her deeply. The little light gathered her magical energy and began to flutter around the room. She needed to clear her mind. She paused to look at a picture of her keeper, Alicia, with the thoughtful but determined air of someone who knows it's time to act. The girl with the sweet and ready smile was in a dark place. But the little light had a plan. All she needed was a willing helper, and she knew exactly where to find the perfect candidate. Nauseating sound reminds me of someone. Charming as ever. Rest assured, I would leave you in peace if Alicia weren't sick. Sounds serious. Let me know how it plays out. Enough of your wisecracks! There's no time to waste. She's been taken by dream demons. What do I know about dealing with demons and sick girls? But Alicia's- Not interested. I always said you were just a stupid egotist. <sighs> And she kept on believing you were a hero. Listen to me, you luminous little bug. I have no idea what you're talking about. Dream demons? You've got to be kidding. That little girl shut me away in here without batting an eyelid. If something really did manage to get in her dreams, I'm sure she can deal with it. Ooh, now I understand. She hurt your pride, did she? How long have you been stuck in this box? Months? Years? And now, you're refusing to help her because she abandoned you. Why wouldn't she want to play with this stupid, filthy old bear anymore? Well, let me spell it out for you. You're pathetic, cowardly, <sighs> despicable. Darnation, enough with the sermon already. Just tell me what's going on, and then turn yourself off. Ah, uh, poor unfeeling bear. Alicia, our mistress, has fallen into a deep sleep. I know it sounds awfully strange, but demons are devouring her subconscious. Sounds like hogwash to me. But even if it were true, what could the two of us do about it? Trust me, you are the <coughs> last toy I want to ask for help. Cut to the chase, Parasite! Okay, okay, why are you in such a rush all of a sudden? As I was saying, I can use my magic to lead someone into Alicia's dream world. You protected her from monsters in her sleep for years. Ah, so you finally admit that Alicia preferred me to a stupid luminous bug when she went to sleep. I wouldn't brag too much if I were you. I'm just saying that even though you're just a dusty, decrepit old bear now, once you're in there, no one will be able to stand up to you. So what's the plan? Destroy everything in my path? More or less. Okay, then I'll come with you to stretch my paws in the world of dreams. Stretch your paws? Maybe I didn't explain. You've already explained plenty, Parasite. I don't want to be anyone's hero. But you and these demons are really starting to get under my fur. Believe me, you have no idea how frustrated a stuffed animal can get, shut away in a box for so long. Alright, nice! Let's see your space button jump. Alright, so this is just going through our typical 3D platformer stuff. Oh, we'll, we'll go back and try again. What now? Oh, are we trying to get on that? I got you. Now, are we able to climb up here? Hey, huh. we're trying to figure out what all you want us to do. Alright, so jump over obstacles. Okay, so we're just supposed to go this way. I'll see where we're supposed to go up. 
All right, so it looks like there's going to be a whole lot of darkness here. Looks like the... Ooh, I actually like that transition. That was pretty cool. We got like a superhero cape and everything. Nice. All right, so let's see here. It looks like we're going to be traveling through the cold. Now, it doesn't look like there's any combat buttons that I've found yet, but I'm assuming that there will be from the trailer. <laughs> mm, what a strange smell. And who might you be? Huh. You don't smell like a filthy wolf. Are you lost by any chance? Uh, I guess so. But if you would be so kind as to show me the path, I'll be on my way. A serious air of judgment, my dear. Didn't your mother warn you about being lost? Uh... It's too late now. The forest is infested with abominable wolves who can't wait to tear you to shreds. And they've already caught your scent. So, am I done for? There might be a way to save your fur. If you can get to my grandma's house quickly. <laughs> if you'd let me get up, I'd already be on my way. <laughs> Try not to lose your way this time. <laughs> so was that supposed to be Little Red Riding Hood? These hounds are giving me the creeps. But we aren't here to run away. We're here to fight, right? No, Furbrain. This is exactly the right time to run away. We have to find a weapon. You won't last long without one. All right, so hold on. So we need to find a weapon around here. So it looks like we're going to be finding a couple wolves, maybe a couple demons, teleport mirrors, connected to the world of dreams together. Okay, so press W to hop inside here. Now it says select a level, but there's only one option. Ow! You don't have the mirror unlocked to that portal yet. You're here. So I guess this is just something extra? Cool. Alright, so let's see. So we'll hop down a super bear! And get impaled. <laughs> All right, so hold on. So clearly, we're supposed to be hopping over these crystals here. So let's see. Let's do something like zero. So we still need to find the weapons. So it looks like there's going to be several different mirror portals that allow us to come back and forth between the different areas. So I'm assuming some of these areas you can find like skills and stuff that you'll need for like later on to explore the levels a little bit easier. Now I'm not entirely sure how long this actual game length is, but if we can get a couple hours out of it, we'll definitely have a couple videos on this. Oh, I tried to jump over the wolf. It did not work. <laughs> Sucker. This guy just going to chill out. Yeah. Hop over you like a serial. You saw nothing. The mirrors will watch over your progress. Nice. And tell me we can go through the mirror if we want to go back to the original. Yeah, but that did not work out at all. Oh, were we supposed to do that? Where your seams won't last long, but don't worry. Stay still for a few moments. I'll use my magic to mend you. Ugh. Now, for a free-to-play game, this is actually really cool. Bear with me, bear, and stop moaning. There you are, good as new. I have to admit, you did a surprisingly good job. I know, pretty impressive, right? The only impressive thing around here is your ego. Old age just so in your wounds as the healing process consumes mana. Nice! Alright, so we're able to heal ourselves now. Apparently that was the right way to go. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Hop around over here. Jump back across. Huh? Get a feeling he's going to charge us. We're supposed to hop on that stick behind us. <laughs> or that happens. Now are we supposed to jump over this entire thing? <laughs> super close <laughs> I'm about to say are we really supposed to jump over them but apparently we were finally the weapon we were looking for scissors wake and fear wolves a rusty pair of scissors don't you recognize them they are the scissors Alicia wasn't allowed to play with as a child you won't find a better weapon in this world all they need is a little magic Oh, wow. The scissors have gotten rid of that pesky bug. Maybe they really are as powerful as she said. 
charming as always, but do try to be more careful. I fused my magic with theirs to awaken their true power. You can do it. Come and get them. Hmm? <sighs> ah, splendid. Now we're talking. Let's find out what these monsters are made of. That's pretty clever, turning a pair of scissors into dual Excaliburs. Uh, let's see, hit control to slash your enemies. Nice. All right, so let's see. Got us another mirror. We need to hop down around over here. Don't see anything to chop up just quite yet. Hey, woof. Time to die. Hey, you're not dead. There we go. <laughs> Every monster you kill, don't spare a single one. I would have killed them all anyway. I'm not taking orders from a petulant pair of scissors. Just concentrate on the task at hand. By absorbing their powers, people become stronger and stronger. It's the only way we can save Alicia. Huh. All right, so let's see. Are we able to hold up down this way? Looks like we can do something on all these lines. Is that supposed to happen? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, well, up doesn't seem like the right way to go, so we're going to try this down direction, see maybe if it takes us <laughs> into the right area here. Now, this is back, going to be coming back and forth. There we go, so we got one hit on it. Looks like it's going to take a couple hits to kill some of these bigger creatures here. We got a little bit of the essence, and we can all up here like a so sir. We got some splat webs and all that stuff we need to clear out. Okay, so the vine over here was controlling that big plant up there. Just how incredibly awesome I am. Just once, could you make yourself useful without bragging about it? With the energy we have absorbed, I can enhance our skills. I hope these skills you're so proud of are worth the time I have to spend putting up with you. Little faith. Skill tree leveling up. Oh, nice. All right. So hold on. So we got heal. So that's a whole bunch of questions here. So light weapons. The sister of Alicia wasn't allowed to play with as a child. Add a little magic and they become fast and lethal weapons. Okay. So we've got two branches right now. So you're able to come over here. So add one HP, increase the healing speed, or increase the damage dealt with light weapons. Further increase the light weapon attack. So I'm assuming it's going to be like a tree here, so we're probably going to have to do either this one or this one, and then we're able to carry it on over to the next area here. So we're not able to do you. What about you? Okay. So as you guys can see, this one turned to the blue, so we did have to go to the closest one. Then we should be able to wrap all the way around and get this little major one. So this dude theoretically should be able to do these two. Same with this guy. He might even be able to trill down some. You can sort of hover over it to see which ones they're actually connected to and where they can go. All right, nice. So we need to hop back around, go all the way back up top here, jump over all that stuff, and once it's getting impaled. This is actually a pretty cool free-to-play game. I wasn't expecting it to be, like, this well narrated and everything. And so let's see. So we need to hop up around over here. Got us another bug we need to destroy. Now you're going to sit here and be armored. Can I kill you? I'm going to assume we can't kill those things since they keep going, like, into the armored turtle shell thing. So we're going to try to focus on, like, regular enemies here. Space in downward direction to hop down here. Oh. <laughs> I love the way you slaughter those revolting wolves. I delight in the hatred I see burning in your eyes, a reflection of my own loathing. What in tarnation is this monster? Did you kill it all on your own? He's the king of the wolves. It wasn't easy to take him out, but seeing you fight got me so excited, so I wanted to surprise you. With a giant corpse. How thoughtful of you. <laughs> no, my dear. That's not a surprise. Help! Help! This bear killed the king of the wolves! Here's your surprise. A fight that will drench the entire forest in blood. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm assuming we need to get out of here now. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a situation here. Chop him up, kill him! Go! 
Wolves are angry. All right, so hold on. If we get hit one more time, we're going to die. If we can kill this dude in a couple more hits, so we should be fine. Now, H to heal ourselves. Hop back around over to the next area here. Now, are we able to hop up around, or how are we supposed to get some momentum? This looks like we have to come all the way over the claws here. This is, like, really weird to be able to actually, like, scale an animal in order to, like, hop up here. So we're going to try to do it as quick as possible. Let's see, now, which way are we supposed to go from here? Okay, just like that. Okay, so if you guys are curious, basically whenever your feet touch the ground, you're supposed to click space bar at the same exact time in order to bounce yourself up a little bit faster. I thought it was just a random chance here, but it looks like it actually is a pattern. All right, so there we go, sluts. Pale ourselves on you. Yeah, come on, let's just go. <laughs> I have a little bit of issues here actually doing this part. This actually is a very interesting level here, so we want to try to boom. All right, so we made it to a new level. So we've got a bat and a wolf here that we need to avoid as best as possible here. So we got the wolf dead, take it on the bat, bat gets destroyed. So we're going to heal up before we get too far. Yeah, this game sort of makes it like a 3D platformer and sort of like a Souls-like experience because it definitely does punish you for dying. All right, so... Unlock that mirror. <laughs> oh, that would have been so bad if you made it all the way to the end there and then just impaled yourself. All right, so let's see if we jump across here. Don't want to touch any of the spikes here. So we've got another level that we need to jump across. Looks like this is another one of those games where the longs do slowly. S Are you serious? Dude, that was like right next to the log. The hate. Okay, so this is just another typical mirror here. So we don't necessarily need to go inside of that. What in tarnation happened here? I don't know, but I don't like it one bit. Let's hurry along, shall we? <sighs> nice, right, so we're gonna skip past that guy. <sighs> <sighs> that was incredible. You managed to get this far. <sighs> Darn, little girl. Watching you fight always lights a fire inside me. I'll wait a minute. This time, it's the forest that's on fire. What are you ranting on about? You have been excellent, Bait. Thank you for luring all the wolves in the forest here. None of them will survive. <laughs> <sighs> Now I just have to exterminate the last few remaining in their den. I'll soon put an end to their nasty little species. <sighs> Darn psycho! <laughs> Alright guys, that's actually going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.